Hi. Okay. Yesterday we were making um, making moulds out of these, pressing it into the silly gum, and uh, creating textured moulds, putting um, the clay in, and out came a few of these. I'm going to make quite a lot of these actually because I've got all sorts of ideas, and then at the end of the tutorials, I will have lots of different variations to show you finished pieces, necklaces and brooches and whatever. Um, and I also mentioned that um, on the previous one that uh, these were a little bit delicate, so I was putting the mod rock on the back. I'm thinking I might do the same for these too because uh, not on all of them but on a couple of them I think it will look really nice actually. So we'll just trim it. Um, like that so it sort of hasn't got too much going on at either end and stick them onto can you see there or does it need to be there there uh, coat them with water <clears throat> I'm sure when you start doing this you'll come up with all sorts of ideas as well and if you've got a laptop too then you can record and we can swap lots of different ideas so what I've done there is just stuck them onto the mod rock and then I'm going to take the blade and do what I did before and just squidge it. I'll show you in a sec when I've done one, I'll show you how I've done it. Just push it up really roughly because I think even that's right there. So I've pushed one Push one up and the next one will do the same thing, bring it all the way up like that, around the edges. And maybe just do that to also bring it into place. Yeah. I'm going to just leave it to dry. Process of experimentation. And so we made we made one of those yesterday and stuck it into a curved piece of mod rock and dried it. And it's looking good, isn't it? So that now, that, that dried nicely inside the little bit of plastic uh, teacup. And what I'll do now is add some of the size. This time I'm going to take it all the way along the edges, first of all. So quite splodge it around there. Like that. This is a thing you build up in layers. And just leave it just to remind you that you have to keep on doing it and come back and tweak it and see how it happens and if you don't like it you can always just scratch it out that will do some scratches along this edge just to see what happens so you can just scratch into the um, copper this has had a little bit of of stuff on it's already gone uh, dry I'm going to add what to it uh, a little bit of the gold here <clears throat> actually those lines actually bring add something to it it's quite nice you can see it's just going to begin to develop with the gold so Again, I could just add a little bit more into the centre there. See, I'm going to put it on quite, quite blobby, which is why I let it sort of build up on the end of the brush and then just sort of push it into, see, it's, it's quite thick actually, but if you leave it, um, the first layer, some of it will soak into the, uh, the plaster and on the second and third goes, of course, it won't. It'll sit on the top. If you want to, you can actually um, coat the whole thing with a PVA. This is PVA and water mixed. Or you can paint it with... Um, I use acrylic inks because they're very liquid and they soak in. And they give you a lovely waterproof um, protection. But I, you know, I like to play around with impermeability and resistance. Are they the same things, impermeability and resistance? No, they're not. There you go. Anyhow, so where are we? What I wanted to show you was making um, making these. Get these on the go now. Piece of tissue paper. 
fold it up a few times and then cut it. I've just cut roughly round the edges in some kind of what you might call a circle but I don't want it to be too regular because I want it to all fall apart. And then I oh, yes make a fold it in half and fold it again and then just snip off the, the middle bit so that you have a series of these like that. Then piece of clay. Now I think I need to either wet my fingers with water or possibly use some flour of some kind. Anyhow yeah, I'm going to use this. So I'm going to take pieces of yeah I think the water really helps actually just make it slightly damp on the on the on your fingertips but not too damp. And then can you see how this is going to work? Press it down. Yeah it works. See what I'm doing? I'm just smearing it on the tissue paper. What I'm going to do later on is coat it the back of it in resin and the little areas which haven't got any paper paste on them, just got remaining tissue paper, will go into a lovely sort of translucent but quite crisp uh, resistant texture appearance, <laughs> whatever you like, surface. So that's the kind of thing I'm doing. See, so you've just got it on one bit. And then I'm going to make a few of these and I'm going to leave them to dry. Some of them just like this and others I will rip them just like that. And then take another little piece of this and smear it on the edge like so and then take that and push it in and just squidge them together a little bit so that you get that. I'm going to make a whole series of those flat and conical and let them dry and then we can work on them tomorrow and that's another seven minutes gone I'm sure that's all you really need little bites and then you, if you want to you can go off and catch up do the same as me so I'm going to close now and uh, think about the next stage maybe go and have a cup of tea bye <laughs>